Sorry. Yeah. We were just discussing our sherry that we bought. Because this one has... Well, we presume it has sherry. <laughs> it's very sweet. So we'd actually bought an Oloroso, a Pedro Jimenez, and also we have a port. So at some point we have to taste those and try and work out what is what. We, we have tried port before, but we've never ever tried any yeah. sherry. But not tonight. Because tonight, we're blind tasting. I'm Phil. I'm Deepa. You're joining us in our 100 plus bottle blind tasting extravaganza. Bottles are from 30 to 300 dollars and each week we have three to taste. Some we've had from the week before, uh, or two weeks before, or five weeks before even. And one of them is a new one that we've only tasted this week. But we always taste them before we start this. Um, each week we have to reveal one of these bottles. And actually they all feel quite light. <laughs> <laughs> I think we've been drinking, we've been drinking them all a bit but too much. We forgot for the more, um, more food. Yeah. The more. Anyway, one of them will get revealed. That will leave us with an empty bottle for something else to go into because we've got more bottles waiting to go in. And this week... We have a new one from our friend, Steve. Hey. <laughs> okay, the new sound is a really good in this, all right? You'll love it. It's a wee dram. <laughs> Sorry about that. An old college friend who was in town, actually two college friends we met up with yesterday. And uh, he's not much of a drinker. And he had this bottle of Balvini 12 year uh, double wood, right? And so uh, we get to put it into our tasting. Do you remember where we were up to with these? Because we have spent quite a bit of time tasting. We've done our flavor wheels and we've made quite a lot of notes. I mean, to give you some idea of where we are, I'll go through the, the names because obviously they're blind to us. You can see what they are, but we give them names to help us remember what the flavors were like. This one is banana ash on grassy water, uh, meaning it is slightly peated. Precision syrup and shortbread, because it is super dialed in and clean. And this is our, the newest one to us. And when we first tasted it, we couldn't really get anything off the nose at all. We were, we were just saying, there's nothing to nose. <laughs> but later on, it, we were getting sort of um, tea and champagne kind of combination. So this one is called nothing to nose tea and champagne. But we have returned to it since then. And there's actually a fair bit more to nose, isn't there? Oh, actually, I wasn't going to do that. Do you remember each of these bottles? Pretty much. Good. Which one would you put in first oh place? Oh my gosh. <laughs> oh my gosh. Uh, I'm trying. No, no trying. Just based on what we've tasted a few days ago, which one would you put in first place? Lightly peated and uh, slightly banana and grassy. The very smooth sweet one, or the new one that was improving. <laughs> I'm going to be very safe, but it's sweet. And that's, I've really got no idea, I'm just guessing. Yeah, that is too watery. So where, where are you going on this one? Oh, this one. Uh, well, hang on, which one's mine? <laughs> I put mine there, didn't I? I think... I think I'm here. Which means I'm over here. I can't ever get that stupid star on the bottle. Every week it misses. I think I just have to do it with two hands. Oh, you're here as well. But I thought, I thought you liked peat. I've got very thin at night. Sort of crassy water. It is thin peat. Okay. Do you want to do any... Okay, let's leave it like that. And now we'll do a little bit of nosing tasting. 
and see if you want to change anything. I think I can I change my mind. Yeah. Oh, oh, good. I put it up here. It's, it's up, I'm up. Oh, yeah. Good. Put that one out of the way. See, this was nothing to nose, but I think I've just breathed in all the vapor so deep I can't have any now. But that is kind of light citrus melon, apricot. A tiny, do you get the chocolate still? I didn't get the chocolate at that time. Very light chocolate though. And a little wet cardboard. I don't know if I get the wet cardboard anymore. Strong apricot. Mmm. Okay, that light aniseed. Sweet aniseed, I think we wrote, didn't we? The comment on tea, on tea and champagne was more about, like, the sort of bubble feeling of the champagne is like the pepper. A very tea of champagne. Yeah. Okay. Let's go back over to, um... um and that is super chocolate, and that is quite... Tiramisu, isn't it? Sweet. Christmas. Yeah. Precision syrup and shortbread. Sweet almond. Yeah, honey, honey milk, milk chocolate. You said ripe figs, I tamarind. Sweet almond. And I, I mean, that just tastes like butter shortbread. I mean, smells like butter shortbread in the full glass. Syrup, syrupy. And slightly more chocolatey in, in the empty glass. And dark, honey. Mm. It is a little bitter honey on the taste. Not quite as sweet as expected. I'm getting a um, stock fried fix. Yeah, dry fix. The finish is chocolate all the way though. What's left? Beautiful finish. Yeah. It's very precise. <laughs> it is very precise. Okay, getting the plasticine, plasticine and uh, light peat. It smells chemical. a little chemical. Well, that's that sort of peaty chemical, isn't it? Fish. <laughs> yeah, it is quite light. Crashy water. Have a little taste. That's, that's been a good reminder. It's better. <laughs> Light pepper, chilli. Every bar, forgive me. Okay, well now is, now is your chance to adjust. Do you feel like adjusting something? With my first choice. I think I would probably swap over Hang on, that one's yours. Where did I put my silver one? I put the one mine. Oh, that's right. So this is my silver. I think I might be over here now as well. No, hang on. Yeah. I'm going to do that again. Mmm. It's similar, but it's bitter. No, have a, okay, have a tiny taste. Mm, okay, I'm, I'm happy with that. Well, that's good. That's good, because we're going to have to reveal this one anyway. <laughs> Because it's empty. Oh, it's, I, I like it. It's another one that has reached retirement, but it also coincides with, I mean, I knew it was empty, so I could be biased, but um, I think it is good, but it is somewhat simple, isn't it? Mm -hmm. What are thin? I think this one, uh, precision syrup and shortbread, is a bit new to us to have something so sweet and dialed Very in. Safe. And um, tea and champagne, because it definitely has got something to nose now. 
<laughs> it has opened up. I was kind of hoping this was going to improve more as we got a bit of air in, but I'm not sure if it's getting that much better. But it was certainly a lot better than the very first time where we were kind of oh, dismissive. Really? It really doesn't taste strong at all. So, did you say 43? Mm -hmm. Yeah. Yeah. Young. Maybe eight year old. Don't have any, 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 any. This is the only other one that we have to compare, which is peated at the moment. Oh, quite a bit sweeter. Mm. A lot more peat, ashy peat. That's got a lot more ashy peat about it, hasn't it? Yeah. Don't worry about it, we'll check after. See if you're consistent or not. I think it is better that that. Uh, I think that's better that as well. Is too buttery. I think I have more flavors. 87 for me, 89 uh. for Deepa. What do you think for price then? Fifty-five for me. Fifty-five. Okay, fifty-five and sixty-five. I feel like we're rushing through today. I don't know why I'm in such a rush. But maybe cola. Okay. So we're both thinking pretty much exactly the same this time. First time. It's a young, low ABV, forty forty-three. Although we've both gone to forty at this point. Scoring okay. 88-ish, mm. and it's Isla style smoke. So I did look at our spreadsheet mm. earlier to see which bottles potentially are in the smoky under 48 ABV. And so the ones I've come up with are, there's Long Row 18, there's Pete Monster from Compass Box. I think Glen Scotia 15 is supposed to have a little smoke, although I don't know. Ben Row McPeated, which is Bayside, peated I think. Kilcarran 12, <laughs> which is Campbelltown. There's a couple of Lagavulins. Penderin the Welsh one is also peated from the barrel. And then Talisker, Springbank 10. So there's a big, there's a big list I've probably put up here. So are there any that's jumping out? So that would be a Campbelltown with peat. Okay, that I go for that one. So I don't think it's Talisker smoke. I've no idea how smoky Springbank 10 is. I think that's probably more smoky. But, Might, oh, but, the Welsh one that we oh, put in recently. I don't think it's Long Row because I don't think it's 18. 18 years old. That I go for the bus. Kill Karen. I'm, I don't think it's Lagavulin either. Okay, so I'm in... Pete Monster, Penderin, Penderin, or Ben Ben Romuk could be. You going for Penderin? No, I'm going for Penderin. Yeah, Pers. Penderin. Okay. Penderin for Deepa. I think I'll go Pete Monster. ABV. Oh, forty-seven. Oh, forty-seven means it's something completely different. Oh. Age. Uh, ah, NAS. NAS. So 47 NAS. It doesn't taste like a 47. I must admit, it, it tasted light. Price? Oh, oh. 63. Yeah, you guessed 65. Well, uh, I was at 55. Similar. 63 at 47 is what? This should be scoring an 88, roughly. And that's actually what we've scored it, because we were 87, 89, it should be scoring 88. So that means we should be happy with that. Mm. Actually, me slightly less happy and you slightly more happy. Region. Wow. Now, if it's compass box, it'll be a blend. And what did you guess? 
Pendarin. If it's Pendarin, it will be from Wales. Box, people. No. <laughs> we'll never try. So we're looking for, uh, really, we're looking for blend or Wales. It is. What? Colorado. I'm only kidding. I'm only kidding. How can that be an American whiskey? I'm, I'm a nickel capping you. Yeah, which one though? I, uh, I didn't even I, have it on my I, list I, I, as a possibility, did I? I press, uh, press end of something. <laughs> West End, or like West End of London. Wait a minute. I picked up the wrong bottle. <laughs> Why didn't you stop me? I didn't know, I swear. We didn't even drink much tonight. Number 15 is what we should be revealing. It's a 15. We get, we get, a, we get another chance to be wrong. <laughs> ABV. 46. <laughs> wrong twice. Wrong twice in one night. Age. Oh. Age is five years. Price. I, uh, was it expensive for that shop? No, we didn't pay 98 for it. No. No. Th yeah, this should have been this should have been scoring 90 90.5. Uh, oh, at least a bath of pink monster and Benderin. <laughs> oh, Benderomak beat. Could oh, could be. It is. Oh, space side. It's a space side. Yeah. Oh, Which means it's got to be mm. Ben Romack Peter. I may as well get the other one as well. Oh. So confusing tonight. <laughs> what should we talk about first? Let's talk about Ben Romack Peter. If we're going to do a quick review of this, then we can't drink anymore. Oh, no, no, no. <laughs> That's it. So, <laughs> just remember this one. <laughs> Someone remember, this is the, the one for our quick review. We weren't overly excited by it, were we? I, I, it, it is pleasant. Is it pleasant enough to buy another bottle? No. <laughs> That's what I was thinking as well. So that, means, so that means it goes here, yeah. Well, let's talk about Stranahan's then. So it is barley. Four. But it's not it's not an American bourbon type of whiskey. This is like a um, a single malt type of whiskey. I think it in the first shot. So oh. that is give you the beet flavour. No, there's no peat in this. No, but I'm, I'm, no. Oh, I'm, I'm stuck with that one. Yeah, there's a, there's no peat in the, in precision it's syrup sweet. and shortbread. But okay. So the reason it's so syrupy then, I think, is because it's virgin oak. Mm, but shot. Yeah, but that's common. I'm gonna go back oak barrels. So when you have bourbon here, they're also in virgin American oak. So that sort of tiramisu that's coming through. Mm. What? It's very syrupy. Yeah, Beat. the tiramisu flavor that we got on Bullet is in, is in here as well. And it must be the virgin oak, which is creating that, that strong, sweet flavour. What would you score it? Because we'd, we'd, we'd put it higher than this, obviously, because we'd both voted for it to be better. In fact, we both, we've both had it as the winner this week. 89. No blind scoring this week. I think I had it higher than that. I think I would have been up at a 90 if I had... 89 and a half. 89 for me. Yeah. So where where would you put it on the shelf then? Buy some of the other press. Yeah. Maybe, uh, but I like this as well. Get all of that one and we've had this. <laughs> would you prefer Kilhoman? It's very different. 
They're different. Yeah. Oh. I think it's better. I think it's better. Okay. I think a little reshuffle. Because Lefroy Glore isn't here to defend itself. I think we're going to move it up. And that means this goes in. No? In here. Bit enough. Which means we can still keep them on the shelf for now. <sighs> okay. We are now up to, what number is that one? 15, 16, 17. 17. 18. Well, they're both quite light. Eighteen and nineteen coming up. That's what you need to add. Well, you do that one. I'll do this one. What did What did you get? I messed up everything. No, I mean, you try that one. mess tonight. <laughs> Who's going to drink all of that whiskey now? <laughs>